Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Champion Cycle. For today's episode, we are going to be doing an engine break-in on a brand new BMW S1000 RR. We have here a 2020 BMW S1000 RR. Hi, I'm Ronaldo Dutra. And I'm very happy to introduce you the new ergonomics of the bike. We have built the handlebar brand new. We make it a little bit higher, a little bit wider, so you have a nice positioning if you are braking. As well in the fuel tank, it's not, it's really thin, so you have a lot of support during braking and acceleration and moving in the corners. Then the new footrest are machined. Uh, with a lot of grip. Everyone is asking for a super bike for a lot of torque and a lot of power. The single R from BMW Motorrad has a lot of torque and the double R has a lot of power. The brand new engine is combined both torque from the single R and power from the double R. I would like to introduce you the BMW Shift Cam. What you see here is the normal camshaft of the double R, the old one. The new one has a Shift Cam. What is the difference? It's this part, this little part. It shifts at 9,000 RPM in five milliseconds and it shifts eight millimeters. So the perfect combination for road and for race track. Cornering is one of the coolest stuff on a bike. I would like to show you today the new dynamic damping control. Here we see the new system. It works parallel. That means we have the, the maximum damping in the system. And if you need less damping, it works in 10 milliseconds. And here we see the shim package. Every chassis engineer can adapt it to your demand in terms of rider scale, weight and speed. This thing is the big deal. Let's talk about the 6.5 inch full color DVD dashboard from BMW with the multi-controller where you can adjust everything. You can go with the menu button to the settings, press it again and then you come to the configuration, go with the multi-controller to the right side and now you see the configurations. What you can see, if you press the menu button, then you can jump in the sport. There you get your core screen. And on the core screen, you have a nice ref meter. You have a lean angle, which you can see your lean angle from the right, left side, braking, deceleration. And here on the top, you can really quick jump from one mode to another. So that means race mode or race pro one or two or three. So. Guys, enjoy your track time with the double R. Um, it's been converted into a race bike, as you can see, brand new out of the box. This bike's got every goodie you could imagine. A standalone computer, a standalone. Yeah, and a standalone fuel management system. Not a bad way to spend ten thousand dollars. Harness, Motec, and a Motec system exhaust. It's 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 top of the line. Alpha, everything. It's got all the pressure input. It's 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 done. I bet you he's got more than a hundred grand under the hood of that. This is like a hundred thousand dollar bike that we're looking at right now. Uh, obviously, there's no bodywork on it because there's no point having bodywork on while we're doing what we're doing. Right now, guys, I'm just gonna start the bike and I'm gonna let it run and idle until operating temperature. Now I'm not going to be stopping to chip chat during the video unfortunately because I don't want to stop during the engine break-in process so I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to do my engine break-in and then uh, we'll go ahead and voice over that for you guys and uh, you'll get to see exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing and then uh, we'll see what she's all about so hang tight guys. It's a 
as good of a time as any to show you guys uh, how an engine break-in works. So again, this bike has zero kilometers and we're gonna go ahead and go to town on the dyno and kind of uh, break the bike in and help the rings seat where they want to seat, help the valve clearances, help the valve seals. We're going to kind of help the motor kind of break in the way we want it to break in to be used to the type of riding that this uh, machine is going to be experiencing for the majority of its life, I would assume, right? So, uh, yeah, man, hang tight, guys. We're going to go ahead and do some engine break in. it up for our how to do an engine break-in um, on a motorcycle. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask us, shoot a message on the board there as usual, slide in our DMs, whatever you want to do. And this has been a 2020 uh, BMW S1000 RR uh, engine break-in. This bike was made to be a track bike, even if it was a street bike, the engine break-in process is identical. So uh, we pretty much run a similar engine break-in process for all of our inline four type uh, motorcycle engines. Hope you guys enjoyed this little banger video, guys. Uh, please don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Right here down below, you'll see the little tab. Just click that and uh, stay with us. Thanks, guys. Peace. Uh -huh. Cut.